Kenya has had a long tradition of having students out to the U.S. And um, for me, it was always what I wanted to do. There's so much opportunity here. I mean, where else would I be able to transfer from a top 10 engineering school to a top 10 business school? Social entrepreneurship, uh, which is basically businesses that have more than one bottom line, bi and uh, businesses that whose bottom line is to make social change, but are are not afraid to use the for-profit model. We decided to try and make an, a social enterprise targeted towards um, extreme malnutrition. Every day, 16,000 children die from hunger-related causes. However, a solution to this problem exists. Peanut butter. By combining peanut butter with other ingredients such as vitamins, minerals, and powdered milk, we can create a ready-to-use therapeutic food, or RUTM. By purchasing one jar of peanut butter, our customers will be empowered to join us in the fight against childhood malnutrition. We are confident that we have put together a team capable of implementing this solution in a global scale. The people who, who in countries like Rwanda can't take uh, antiretroviral drugs because their bodies are too weak from malnutrition to be able to ingest this medicine when they take it, it actually does harm to their body rather than, than making them better. And so providing IUTF enables, you know, empowers the fight uh, against AIDS. When you come from a developing country, you realize the harm that nonprofits can do as much as, you know, they are well-intentioned. There's the law of unintended consequences is often not, not taken into account by a lot of nonprofits. But social enterprises and things like microfinance, uh, I think are a lot more effective uh, because they leverage local knowledge. One of the most powerful, if not the, the, the only way to make change sustainable is to make sure that it's making somebody money. The fact of the matter is if it's making my, somebody money, it's gonna get done. When I speak to my fellow Kenyans who are thinking like me, and I realize that I'm, I'm not the only one with these ideas. And if I don't do it, somebody else will, you know? <laughs> and they're gonna make all the money. <laughs> My name is John Kidenda, and I've been long on for four and a half years. Hook em horns.